What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to take a look at the different types of infinity. Now, most people, when they think of infinity, they just think of really big numbers. So they imagine you just keep counting, and let's say I get to four, but I just keep skipping. Eventually, I hit 105. I just keep going. Eventually, I hit this number here. But if I were to keep going, we might imagine a really big number, something like 10 to the 100th power, where I have a one with 100 zeros. And no matter what, I could just keep going further and further out and then until eventually I have something like a one with this many zeros. And you might be able to imagine really, really big numbers, but just know you could always find a number that's way bigger than the number you're imagining as the biggest number. So once again, infinity is not a number. It's more of a direction in this case, which just tells you to keep going. So in that last example, we were just counting as far as we could go. So that's what we call a countably infinite set. Now, when you look at something that's uncountable, this is a more, some would call this a more exciting type of infinity. But let's say I look between one and two and the halfway point would be 1.5. Then what I could do is I could just keep getting closer and closer to one. Between any two real numbers is an infinite amount of real numbers. So no matter how small I take this space, let's say I go from one to 1.125. Then I could redraw my number line and I could mark it at one and 1.125 and I could always just get closer and closer and closer to one and I could do this indefinitely. So when we get really close to one, some people might think of a number like this, 1.01 .01. and other people might think of this number, putting more zeros like this. But just know the idea of uncountably infinite is that between any two real numbers, you have an infinite amount of real numbers. So no matter how close I get to my real number, I could always, in a sense, redraw this line. And then now maybe my line this time around is gonna start at 1.00. And I could just add an indefinite amount of zeros. But the idea is that I could just get closer and closer and closer to one. And I could do this process forever and ever. So this is the uncountably infinite set, the real numbers. Now, a really exciting case is when we look at the geometry of this. So the last thing I want to look at here is an illustration of what it means to be uncountably infinite. So if I look at this pentagon here, and it's a regular pentagon, which means all five sides are the same, and these five angles are the same. And I start doing this. I just start drawing in lines to connect all of the vertices. So when I do this, I'm going to draw in five lines. One thing that you'll notice is that once I draw in my fifth line, I will create another pentagon here in the middle. And the ratio of this pentagon to the inside pentagon is gonna be the same as when I draw in another set of five lines, that the ratio of the second pentagon to this third one that I'm creating is gonna be the same as the ratio of the first pentagon to the second. And this process could go on forever. So this is once again, the uncountably infinite that within a finite space here, within one regular pentagon, I could go through this process here and make an infinite amount of pentagons. And the ratio of all the pentagons is gonna be the same. So once again, this is another example here of what it means to be uncountably infinite. And the idea is that within a finite space, we have infinity existing within a closed space. So a lot of people, once again, just think of infinity as counting to as big as big of number as they could think of and then just to keep going. But the other, what I think more exciting type of infinity there is, is the uncountably infinite. When you're in a closed space, there does exist infinities within closed spaces. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on the different types of infinity. If this video is exciting, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.